All right, so what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another exciting front-end web development video with HTML. My name is Mehul. I think I mentioned that, but I forgot. I don't know. Anyway, let's just proceed towards what we need to discuss in this video. That is the button tag. So the button tag actually allows you to create button on a web page, right? So we have seen how we can create a heading. We have seen how we can create a link. We have seen how we can create some nice paragraphs right and now it's time to create a button on the web page right and by the way just as a matter of fact you should know you can actually nest this stuff inside one another mostly right so i can actually add the the links inside my paragraphs right so it actually makes sense right so if you're writing a paragraph you have a link in between and then you continue on writing the paragraph right so yeah, that's how it works. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it outside so that things are clean. So where were we? Um, yeah, creating a button. So to create a button in HTML, what you really have to do is just make use of another very, very simple tag known as button and write, you know, my awesome button. Awesome button, right? There we go. And again, you can see that these are on single lines. So we know how we can separate them by just throwing them each in their own paragraph tags. There we go. Oops. So there we go. We can just throw it in as well. And here we are. So now if I go ahead, you can see this is an actual native button, which is on MacBook, obviously Mac OS. If you're using Windows, you're gonna see a different style. If you're using Linux, you're gonna see a different style. But more or less, it's going to follow the native appearance of the of the operating system. And it's going to show you a button, right? Which is not very interesting because nothing really happens when you click it. The good part is that you can actually pass in, again, more attributes, just like we did with the anchor tag, to provide more information on how this should really, really work. So I'm gonna go ahead and write href here again, right? And I'm gonna specify a URL, probably like google.com and maybe target blank and uh, click on this. Hey, nothing happened. Why is that? Well, that is because you need to remember, remember a fact that not all attributes work on all the tags right so you see href and target are two attributes of the anchor tag they are they might be specific to this anchor tag only but the thing is it does not really mean that you can go ahead and start writing phref or something like that it won't it just won't really work right so there are certain ways to redirect this button you can uh, encapsulate this inside an anchor tag which is perfectly fine in HTML5 standards so what you can do is just go ahead and if I just go ahead and remove this thing instead of P or maybe inside P we can create an anchor tag which will encapsulate this button right so now what I want is this should on clicking this this should redirect to Google obviously we do not really want this right but the anchor tag is now instead of having just simple text we have a button so if I click on this you can see a new tab opens and here we are right similarly for any other site like Google also it would work just fine so here we are right so this is how button works and this is how basically nesting of HTML tags work as well so yeah that's that's basically it for this video if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next video